So today, we got a banger on our hands as Jack Reacher is taking on Tyler Rake. Two skilled and dangerous uh, ex-soldiers going head to head. Who wins? Let's find out. So, as always, we gotta start off with strength. And both men are pushing superhuman levels when it comes to strength. Tyler Rake effortlessly just effortlessly ragdolled adult men, sending them flying, throwing them around, one-shotting them, and breaking their bones. He even lifted and swung around a dude with enough force to break the neck of another dude, and he lifted and swung around a kid with just one hand. <laughs> From the ground, you know. He was even still overpowering people when his arm was broken. The dude is incredibly strong crazy levels of strong there but in the other corner we have reacher who is just a massive hulking man it's co he's constantly referred to as the big guy and the giant uh, as well as other synonyms he's six foot five and like 270 pounds of just muscle okay uh, he's incredibly strong he broke out of zip ties easily just busted out of them because they didn't have handcuffs big enough to hold him he's one shot at people easily broke a dude's leg broke a dude's arm with a headbutt kicked a car hard enough to deploy the airbags hung onto a helicopter as it was flying away and then held onto dixon's cart thing while she was strapped to it and dangling out of the helicopter with just one hand while being kicked repeatedly repeatedly i'd say reacher is taking this edge uh, durability. The problem here for Reacher is that he doesn't have any real impressive feats here. I mean, yeah, he's been slashed by knives, he's been punched, kicked, briefly beaten by uh, Langstrom, hit with clubbing weapons, and that's about it. We've never seen him be knocked unconscious. As you see here, he's bleeding, he's been beaten before. But he doesn't have, like, any feats that would put him above, like, the average person. However, Rake withstood similar attacks, kept fighting after his arm was broken, and he survived being shot through the throat, followed by uh, a fall off of a bridge. Although he was put in a coma for a while, he woke up and it almost immediately went back to work. <laughs> um, he also kept going after being shot, falling off of a balcony, and being hit by a car. I'm sure Reacher could endure similar feats, but Rake's feats are just better. We haven't seen Reacher do anything like that. Now we're moving on to speed. Both men have very fast reflexes and are fast on the draw. Both men have consistently outdrew skilled and trained marksmen and groups of men. But again, I'd give the slight edge to Tyler as Reacher is heavy on his feet. And it's said by a close friend that he's not very fast on his feet. Although he looks pretty fast to me, but eh, what do I know? Um, now moving on to skill. Both men were extensively trained during their times in the military. Reacher was a major in the military police and led the 110th, the special investigators. He achieved several achievements in the military, including a silver star, a defense superior service medal, legion of merit, soldiers medal, a bronze star, army accommodation medal, army achievement medal, and even a purple heart. He's been described as having a steamroller style of combat, and that sums it up pretty well. He combines his size and power with efficiency, hitting weak and vital areas to beat them to beat his opponents quickly. He's also a very skilled marksman with virtually all firearms, and is even great at gun fu, the art of using firearms in close quarters. He's also very knowledgeable of fighting forms, as he knew he was fighting uh, someone that was trained in the South American military, simply based on how they threw a headbutt. He was like, oh, yeah, you, you were trained down in South America. Yeah, he's routinely bested men, even groups of men, by himself. Like when he beat like a dozen prisoners by himself. Uh, he's also bested well-trained men like soldiers, cops, and hitmen too. He's also an incredible strategist and tactician and a master of stealth. And his skills of observing helps him out drastically in a fight because he can basically read people's movements and accurately predict what they're about to do. 
which plays heavily in how he fights. He also has no care of killing, uh, and that's, as that's what he typically goes for. But Tyler Rake is a former Special Air Ser uh, Service Regiment soldier turned mercenary. He's well trained in several fighting forms, knife fighting, and marksmanship. His fighting style incorporates elements of boxing, Muay Thai, Krav Maga, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and wrestling. He too is also great at Gun Fu, really showing his inner John Wick. He's easily beaten groups of soldiers single handedly and even bested uh, Saju Rav, someone with similar training to him. He's also carried out several successful assassinations during his time as a mercenary, as well as being a master tactician, too. Despite Reacher uh, obtaining all of those military rewards and accomplishments and medals and whatnot, I'd say Rake has this advantage. He just seems to be much more deadly and lethal than Reacher, who typically relies on his size and intimidation to avoid fighting. Um, but I do think Reacher is the better tactician simply because of his great observation skills. While these skills are typically only useful during, like, while investigating, um, they do also help him read a person's movements, like I stated earlier. Um, and lastly, they'll both be carrying a handgun for this fight. So, who wins? Well, Reacher is bigger, he's stronger, and he's the better tactician, while Rake is seemingly tougher, faster, and more skilled. Despite Reacher's advantages, I have to side with Rake, and I will tell you why. The fight scenes in the Extraction movies involving Tyler Rake are a lot like the ones in the John Wick movies. Very fast, efficient, lethal, to the point, bang bang, see you later, whatever, goodbye, you're dead. <laughs> Um, the ones in Reacher are just, they're not slow, like, they're very, you know, they're very good in intense fight scenes, I'm not saying anything about that, but they're not, they're just slow in comparison to Tyler Rake's, because Tyler Rake's fight scenes are a lot like John Wick's, and I don't think Reacher has anything on John Wick, I mean, he's stronger, but, like, that's it, um, I'm sure, realistically, Reacher could keep up with Tyler Rake, but based on what they've both shown, based on what we've seen, I have to side with Tyler Rake on this one. He just seems to be much more deadly and lethal and efficient than Reacher is when it comes to a purely hand-to-hand -hand combat scenario or a gun -fu scenario. Tyler Rake wins. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Leave a comment of what you thought and hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos and all the great stuff. I truly do appreciate it. Please go follow my Instagram account, dmanvs.videos. And all the great stuff. I appreciate it. Have a great day. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.